guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today we're going to be talking about the My UI, My UE Forever ROM by Insane Mod. This is the very first My UI ROM for the Droid Bionic. Uh, this ROM is insanely fast. This ROM has tons of customization features. It has everything that you know and love from My UI plus some. Uh, this ROM is outstanding. Like I said, it's it's stable, it's fast, and it is for the Droid Bionic. So without further ado, let's jump into this quick review and then we'll follow that up with an install guide. So this is the lock screen. You know this from my UI. You've got a couple of options here and just in case you have never seen this ROM, uh, we'll run through these options here. So you can either pull straight down to unlock or you can pull the phone down to go to the dialer or you can pull down the text message to go to text messaging all from the lock screen. So if you notice here this We'll go to the home screen here. This is on the My UI launcher, uh, which is just a cool custom launcher by the My UI team. It does not have an app drawer, which some people don't like that aspect of it, uh, but you do have folders. And if you wanted to, uh, you could make a folder here. And you could just, let's see, where are the folders? There should be a folder. Yeah, just drop the folder onto the onto the home screen here. And then, of course, you could just add everything uh, to that folder, like so. And then drop that onto your main dock. See, I mean, I know that's a lot to go through, uh, but Insane Mod also did include the Apex launcher. So if you want more of an Android-style launcher, you can have that as well. Uh, you don't have to go with this My UI launcher. A lot of people like it, uh, but it's not for everybody. So anyhow, that's one way around not having an app drawer. Um, as you saw there, I'll go ahead and long press again. So you have your home screen editor. You can actually add and remove home screens here. You can drop widgets uh, from a selection, a big selection of widgets here. You can just add and drop any of those onto any home screen. Uh, so we'll just say I wanted to go with this ICS analog clock here. Uh, where'd it go? You just hold it and drop it on the screen. And if I wanted to go with, say, a YouTube widget, just hold that and drop that on the screen like so. And of course, you could take away a screen or add a screen, as many as you want there. And we'll go back to the home screen. All right, uh, one thing that's really cool about this is it does come with the My UI camera. Uh, on this ROM, I believe the camera works. In fact, we'll test that. The camera works, but not the camcorder. So I should be able to snap a picture here without any issues. Okay, so that took, and there's my picture. But if I go to the camcorder, I think it's going to force close. So I'm recording video now. And see, that's not functioning properly. So the camera works, but not the camcorder. Now, uh, I did show you guys on the main dock here, you can add and remove different apps up to six in that main dock. And then, of course, it does have the My UI File Explorer there. And it does have My UI Theme. So this this theming app here is one of the main features in my UI of course you can select from any of the online themes if this is one that I downloaded here this is the dark ice and this is what it looks like once it's flashed and so I can just apply that on the fly and that's just going to take a few seconds to apply and now I should have that dark ice theme applied and when I go back to the home screen You'll see that now it has that dark ice theme. So see how the analog clock there has changed. Everything is darked out. If I pull down the notifications and the toggles will... And I can easily go back to my standard theme just by selecting that one and applying that. And just as easy as I went to a different theme, I can go back to my original theme. And if we go back 
I'll show you the online theme selection is endless. I mean, you'll be looking at these for hours, trying to decide uh, what you want. It may take a little while to load, but the options are endless. And if we go back, see, we'll go back to the themes and go to customize. And you can change just the lock screen. You can change uh, just the clocks. Several to choose from there. You can change just the photo frame, just your icons, just your status bar, uh, just your dialer. You can change your boot animation. And there's several to choose from here. Of course, it takes a while for these to load. I am on Wi-Fi right now. Okay, another thing about this ROM is it should have fully functional 4G LTE. And you can change your uh, wallpapers. You can add a custom wallpaper from the online. And there's tons to choose from there as well. You can change your boot audio, your ringtone, notifications, and alarm, uh, and any audio effects. So those are all there. And uh, so that's pretty much, you see that it's kind of like an ICS style theme to it. The icons are all square but rounded. And uh, it has lots of customization features. That's the main thing about this ROM is just how customizable it is. Uh, but anyhow, we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. And I'll show you guys how to install this ROM. So we'll just reboot into recovery. And as soon as we get to recovery, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install this. It's very simple. And you need to be on the Bionic Bootstrap. And you also need to make sure that you're on 5.9.902 before you do flash this. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is wipe data factory reset. Okay, so you'll, you will wipe data. And you go down to, yes, delete all user data. I'm not going to do that now because I already have it installed, so I'm going to go back. And you go to wipe cache partition. Go down to, yes, wipe cache and select that. Then you'll want to go down to advanced. And wipe Dalvik cache. Go down to, yes, wipe Dalvik cache, select that. I'm going to go back. And then we'll go back one more time. Now this has all the... Uh, Google Apps integrated so you don't have to install separate G apps. Go to install and then choose from SD card. And you're looking for the My UI Forever. And you'll select that. Whoops, I selected the wrong one. So choose it from SD card and you'll go to My UI Forever and yes, install. And then go back. Also, uh, if you're on the Bionic Touch Recovery, make sure that you remove that and replace that with the Bionic Bootstrap Recovery. Uh, the Touch Recovery, I had issues installing. The install script hung up on me, and I had to uh, flash the fastboot files to get me back to stock. Uh, but if you do this with the Bionic Bootstrap Recovery, it's not going to give you any issues at all. So we'll go ahead and reboot the system now, and I'll show you guys the boot animation. So overall, I have enjoyed this ROM. It's nice to have my UI on the Bionic finally. And uh, shout outs go to Insane Mod for such a great ROM for the Droid Bionic. This thing is pretty much stable, but it does have the few, bug the few bugs that we had talked about. And it includes some pretty cool dubstep music on the boot animation. Uh, so anyways, guys, that is my UI for the Droid Bionic. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Just click on the subscribe button right there. Just click on that. And be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. That helps me out a ton. Also, be sure to leave comments below. And uh, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.